Hello, I will give you a high-level introduction on the uh, technical capabilities uh, of UWB. UWB is an impulse radio um, for transmitting information uh, over large bandwidth with channels of 500 megahertz. It is standardized in IEEE 802.15 4Z. The primary focus is on the IEEE channels 5, 6, 8 and 9 to give the best worldwide coverage in the 6.5 to 8 gigahertz bands. The primary use case of UWB technology uh, is actually secure and accurate ranging, where two devices will be able to securely and accurately locate each other. RF signal propagates following a straight line in several directions traveling at the speed of light. The signal while traveling is affected by absorption, reflection, refraction and diffraction. As radio waves propagate in all directions, they can follow multipaths to reach their targets. Then the same message will be received multiple times with different intensity at the receiving antenna. The channel impulse response represents the multipath propagation behavior. It can be understood as a result of the energy received at the receiver plotted over time. If the direct path is the strongest pulse received, we are in line of sight conditions. If the direct path is not the strongest pulse received, we are in non-line of sight conditions. Accurate ranging is needed both in line of sight and non-line of sight scenarios, such as crowded multipath scenarios with numerous walls, people and other obstacles. NXP's UWB solutions are designed to provide the needed robustness in these non-line of sight scenarios. So, let's now look at a summary of the attributes of UWB that make it an unmatched technology for secure ranging. It is accurate. It can accurately determine the distance between devices, but can also calculate the angle from which a signal is arriving. It's robust with a strong multipath environment performance that really ensures the position accuracy. It has a long range with up to 100 meters in line of sight conditions. It has a high level of security against relay attacks. This is achieved through real RF security, where the RF preamble is cryptographically protected. And last but not least, it is real time giving the possibility to perform ranging measurements with minimum latency.